Thank you, Stephanie. FBI and IRS agents, meantime, raiding the local law offices of a San Antonio state senator today. Senator Carlos Uresti's dealings with a defunct oil fuel services company are now under the microscope of federal investigators. Myra Arthur reports what the court documents reveal about Uresti's alleged links to an investor who claims that she lost nearly a million dollars. Myra? You know, no sign now of any of those federal agents that surrounded these law offices here earlier this morning as that raid was happening. Now, Senator Uresti's law firm reportedly provided legal services to that company, Four Winds Logistics. The San Antonio Express News has also reported that Uresti played a role in recruiting investors for Four Winds Logistics. For now, the FBI telling us they can't reveal much about this investigation. A much different kind of law presence outside these law offices this morning. Federal agents carrying their equipment inside to conduct what an FBI spokeswoman called a law enforcement activity. The FBI would not comment about the nature of the investigation, but Senator Carlos Uresti said in a statement, Today, FBI agents are in my office reviewing documents as part of their broad investigation of the Four Winds matter. Four Winds is accused of defrauding businesses and using fraudulent bank statements and financial statements statements to convince investors that Four Winds was a financially sound enterprise. A lawsuit filed by a woman named Denise Cantu alleges she invested $800,000 into a venture account with Four Winds in June 2014. The suit claims the majority of the money was soon transferred into an account, which is presumed to be Four Winds own account. The suit goes on to claim Cantu's damages, if any, were caused all or in part by Carlos Uresti, a responsible third party. Uresti owned a 1% stake in the company, and the Uresti law firm is listed as one of the Four Winds many creditors. Uresti also said in that statement today, quote, I have instructed my staff to fully cooperate with the federal investigators. I will help them in whatever way I can. As always, I remain committed to serve my constituents, end quote. Now, we had a crew actually headed to Austin today to interview Senator Carlos Uresti on another subject, but that interview was canceled while all of this was going on. His office telling us that he was not in Austin today. Then when we got that statement later, it said that he was, in fact, working in Austin. Reporting live just north of downtown, Myra Arthur, KSAT 12 News.